Hey everybody. I uh, need to be open and honest with you guys. I um, gave my pancreas a little bit of a workout uh, yesterday evening. And definitely suffering the consequences now. I uh, had some food that I used to definitely enjoy. Not that I didn't enjoy it last night, but I think I just have one of those personalities. If I have something, I have it in excess. And even just a little bit, you can definitely fall back into stuff so, so easily. And... At least most people, you know, oh, only a little, you know, only in moderation. <laughs> you know what? That might work for some people. I applaud you. I applaud you. But I'm just, I'm one of those. I don't like having just a little. So, I mean, I uh, woke up this morning. My... A1, well, not my A1C, I'm sorry. My fasting blood glucose was 230-something. I, uh, was and am still feeling a little nauseous. Um, my numbers are coming down. They're in the... Last time I checked, it was in the 180s. I'm going to check again before I do make breakfast, but I'm definitely going to treat my pancreas a little bit better today. I'm just feeling wiped out and drained. Um, you know, that, that's why I make these videos. I, I don't do it to lecture anybody. I just, I do it to inform people. And yeah, you know what? I'm informed and look, right? I'm still human, I mess up, I, like I said, I struggle, and I still have food addictions. They're not as bad as what they used to be, of course. Um, you know, I do maintain a pretty steady meal plan, but that doesn't mean I don't deviate once in a while from it, you know, that that's just to be human. Um... Yeah, I take one step back once in a while, but I, I keep trying to take two steps forward. And, you know, if you want to unsubscribe to me because I messed up, that, that's your business. If, you know, um, I want I want to be an inspiration to people, but I also want to be real. You know, this is me. I just don't want to get on here and always pretend like everything's okay. You know, this is me being vulnerable. Um, a lot of times, I try to get on here and give you some positive stuff. Well, you know, here's a little bit of stuff that probably doesn't sound so positive. But I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going forward. Um, I was sitting there this morning just thinking in my mind. And, you know, I felt like... Maybe the Holy Spirit just brought some scripture to mind. Like when Christ was talking to people and in this different aspect, he was talking about, you know, you can't serve two masters. You can't serve both God and money. And it almost made me think the only part that I heard was you can't serve two masters. And then I started to think, well, could that also apply to other areas in life? Could it apply to, you know, food? Can't serve two masters? You, you can't be eating consistently, almost consistently, a certain way. And then turn around and start eating the way that you used to. And it just un undoes, undo... However you want to say it, <laughs> it just completely, I don't want to say it messes everything up, but it, it sets you back. It sets you back. It, um, 
like I said, I just I want to put my best foot forward, my best pancreas forward. <laughs> um, you know, I don't want to get to that point to where I'm insulin dependent. A type 2 that's insulin dependent. I definitely don't want to get to that point. I uh, am still off of my Jardiensis my Victoza. I'm still taking my metformin. Um, I haven't been exercising that much. I just haven't really been feeling that great. I still have a tooth back here that needs to be pulled this coming Monday. Um, my water intake hasn't been where it should be. This is me unpacking my personal life, okay? And it's frustrating. It, it really is frustrating. But I just... Wanted to come on here really quick, let you know what's going on with me. Um, like I said, I just I want to give my pancreas a little more self care today. But like I said, I, I have to go Monday and have a tooth pulled. Like I haven't been filling up to exercising. I haven't done any of my yard work that I've been wanting to do. Any of my gardening. Um, it just it's hard to do stuff when you. It's difficult. It's difficult to do stuff when you don't feel good. I mean, you just the the motivation's just not there. Um, I mean, I've been doing little things here and there, but no major projects, nothing like that. And I, um, it's taxing. It's definitely taxing. Um, you know, and then the problems with my tooth that. Could also be a factor as well, not the main factor, but a contributing factor to my blood sugar being a little wonky uh, the past two weeks, week and a half, two weeks. Um, yeah, I'm actually looking forward to going to the dentist to get that tooth pulled. And, uh, take care of your teeth. Definitely, definitely. But, uh. I want to be in my happy place <laughs> again. I want to continue to eat healthy as much as possible. And I just, I want to be happy. And that's the goal, you know. I think that, you know, part of mental health you know, the goal for mental health is to be happy. I'm not saying I'm not happy right now, but I want to be happier. And I think, you know, I'm happy in other areas of my life. I'm happy with my marriage. I'm happy with my family. I'm happy all the way around, but I'm not happy with certain choices that I've been making. With riding the fence, with being in the middle, with serving two masters. So, I mean, I'm not trying to say that Christ was talking about food, that Yeshua was talking about food. He was talking about money. But I also wholeheartedly believe that that can be applied to every area of your life. So, alright guys, great little chat. As always, I'll see you on the next video. Bye. And...